pretty face. The portrait. An American. Name of Lincoln. Good man. Pretty good. Now, my dear, it is my duty to warn you. You do not wish for Philip to be my man. It's not a question of what I wish, my dear. It's... The Soviet. They do not wish either. But I wish very much. They can make things very difficult for you. Sir, I have love for Philip. I have the wish to be his wife and to be together with him always. You will tell us, no, no. But we say, yes, yes. And then you will say, uh, dashed young fools. And then you will say, dashed young fools, good luck. No, yes? Not as simple as that. You must realize there's no certainty you'll be granted an exit visa. Why they not give me the visa? I am nobody. You're Russian. He's American. We go together. They may not permit it, my dear. You must understand, both of you, you may be together for just six months. Then for six months, we will be together. I have the wish to be the woman to Philip for always. But if only for six months, then better for six months than never to be the woman to Philip at all. And so we were married in the American Embassy. The ambassador's wife was there for Maria, and I had Steve Quillen to hold my hand. There were just the five of us, and old Abe Lincoln up there on the wall. It was comforting having him there. I had the hope that no matter what the Kremlin thought of our marriage, he would say, as he once did, it is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. For our honeymoon, we went to Tallinn on the Baltic Sea, where all summer long the water is so warm, night bathing is a favorite sport, except perhaps for honeymooners. We wanted to be alone. Cost one ticket to get up here. This is a fine time to tell me who sells them. I. You? What do I pay and how much? You not pay, you say. Oh, something like, um, I love you. How you know what it costs to get on this raft? You have been before? Nope. And I'm new at honeymoons. But from what I've seen so far, it's a great idea. <laughs> 